It was the latest in a string of armored truck robberies. More than $1.1 million stolen late last year at gunpoint. Turns out it was an inside job. Guessing these guys had something to do with it. Dylan Collier on how Converse Police broke open the case. When Converse Police responded to this neighborhood December 29th, the driver of an armored truck said he ended up there after being held at gunpoint outside this auto zone less than a mile away pistol whipped and then forced to drive the short distance where three men dressed in masks then entered the vehicle and stole more than 1.1 million dollars. Within days, however, Converse police had zeroed in on a primary suspect. He was the actual driver of the armored truck the day in question. Turns out Brian Martinez Rodriguez was no victim, but had instead orchestrated the supposed heist on what was his second to last day of employment. Martinez Rodriguez had been told he would be terminated December 30th after failing to get his license to carry a firearm. Surveillance footage outside the store and at the neighborhood where the truck was found contradicted the suspect's story on what happened. There's more. We learned that a childhood friend of, of Brian's was actually involved as well. The man who held Martinez Rodriguez at gunpoint, fellow 23-year-old Maurice Mercado, who now faces the same first-degree felony theft charge. Members of the Alamo area Metro SWAT team executed a search warrant at Mercado's home on Beverly Ann Street late last week and found evidence tied to the heist. There appears to be no connection between the late December robbery and other armored truck robberies that took place along FM 78 last year. Converse police are still investigating. Lieutenant Shook said he is very confident they will have enough evidence to soon charge a third suspect. Reporting in Converse, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.